I'm James Patterson. I'm the Technical Director and Co-Founder of Icona Technologies. We are a medical imaging spin-out from Oxford University. We develop medical imaging devices uh, for use in wound care. Specifically, our first product is a handheld three-dimensional imaging system for use in imaging leg ulcers, diabetic foot ulcers, so forth and so on. In developing our product, we had a number of challenges. One of the largest ones was the fact that it is a cross-platform product. So to be able to find a toolkit which allowed us to develop under Windows and then build and run it under Linux was very important. And uh, the first time we actually saw that working, it was a real hallelujah moment. I'm Andy Smith, I'm the Head of Sales and Customer Relations for Icona. The company's greatest challenge at the moment is there's different requirements from different customers. Being able to be very adaptable allows us to make those changes quite simply and quite quickly and that's something that we're able to do using Qt. We chose Qt Commercial because firstly we needed support. Time to market was critical for us and to be able to ensure that we had timely responses to any important technical questions that came up was very important because we had to maintain the pace of development. We've just added tablet support to our PC user interface and this really kind of came out of the blue. The sales guy said, hey, we've got a, a tablet PC. Can you get this thing working on a tablet? I think in 10 working days, we had tablet input, pinching, pulling, zooming, and that was all based on QT's touch system. So it really is a very powerful and flexible toolkit. Hopefully the future for Icona is bright. We've just opened a US subsidiary. I think as we move into other markets, being able to change the language within the system is very important. And the ability to be able to do that is, is something that would be critical to having any kind of success in those markets. Icona is going to continue to improve, refine, add new features to its product. There are a number of people using it in the field now and they've come back with a number of useful suggestions. Of course, the key to this is to have a flexible toolkit which can adapt to your needs. Uh, and I'm sure that QT will continue to provide us what we need in that regard.